their um, beer cans into water cans. Is that right? mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And so um, they have sent us carbonated water. Mm -hmm. Now you can't really cook with it. You can, but you know, it doesn't taste the same. But you can. And so I'm just saying, you got a uh, Fiji. Fiji out of California sent us an 18 wheeler. Icelandic water sent us an 18 wheeler. Um, this lady um, out of uh, Chicago brought the five gallon 18 wheeler full of five gallon jugs. Am I right? So, you know, uh, but where are they now? They've gone on to Louisiana. Because I'm sure there's a need there. Because when the river overflowed, uh, it messed up the sewers, which meant their water's contaminated too right now. See what I'm saying? Um, I just, I know I need to get Deborah to her 315 appointment, so okay. we got maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Um, well, I want to, I, I, I'd like to even discuss further. Mm -hmm. uh, either, even other options. Okay. You know, sometimes we're in the thick of it. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to, you know. Make it work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so and there might be other options. Mm -hmm. uh, have you thought about uh, money coming in to get, uh, uh, you know, they, where they may have to for, for a time leave outside of Flint and live? No. They're not going to leave their home. They're not going to leave their home. If they leave, I, I think then you're giving in to the pressure. Uh, some have had to whose children have been affected. Uh, you've had some. Uh, I have a young lady and her husband moved in at Latches on the Eads because she has two small children and her baby's face kept breaking out. And since they moved to Flushing, which is just across the street, mm -hmm. you know, different water. Mm -hmm. But as a rule, where that, where, I mean, they're not going to do that. We need to fix this here. Then we need to fix it. And then we need to be able to help help them because you still, if you even if you had that ability, you're still going to have those people like me. I'm not going nowhere. Mm -hmm. So what about me? Not only is our church in Flint, but we live in Flint. My husband and I live here. So I'm too old to be packing up moving. Not unless you're going to help me find this house that my grandbaby dreamed about. She said, Nana, I dream. This is, she woke up this morning that you were living in the biggest mansion in the world and your clothes closet. And she went on to describe how my clothes were. Now, if I had a place like that for Dr. Brown, I might go. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I guess, you know. On the outside looking mm -hmm. at it, you're talking about so and so mm -hmm. or someone being mentally. But then you're talking about closing down. Life. But you're talking about then closing down the city. See, that's well, it, it, something has is so is they have to if they're going to do those uh, those pipes. It's going to take time. It's going to take time, which and is so why they're trying to force you educationally to understand the filters, you see. And so we need plumbers. We have them in this city. We need to get through the red tape. We've got them. I mean, you I mean, there are people from all over the country that will, if, if plumbers are what was needed, that will come in and and install those, those filters. I'm red just tape. thinking about other. Yeah. Okay, but the problem that you have with that is that, um, hold on, this is one of my workers. <laughs> 